How's it going guys? Tomcat here and today you are back, or we are back I should say, for another episode of Forza Horizon 3 in the new Mountain Dew car pack with the Ferrari F50 GT this time. In the last episode we built a dart uh, and it was a absolute riot. Uh, the F50 GT is going to be interesting because the, the whole idea of this car is just ultimate speed. Just flat out speed uh, with you know, with pretty much nothing else in mind. Now, with that being said, actually, some of the designs are kind of cool. I might end up going with one of these. The, you know, hmm, that Galaxy one is pretty cool. But at the end of the day, I mean, God, it's so gorgeous and red. No freaking passenger seat. Dude, how hardcore do you have to be? Which, well... <laughs> with this car, obviously, pretty hardcore. Um, but we're going to go ahead and see, like, what we can do to it and then how many records it can demolish because I feel like it's going to demolish a lot of them. And also, considering the fact that, like, like, just look at it. Just look at the thing. I mean, look at look at it inside. Look at it inside. It's so basic Yet, I mean, like, that seat is on the floor. Everything is there for a purpose. Every single thing in that car is there for a purpose. And if it doesn't have a purpose, that, that do, if it doesn't have a purpose that doesn't lend itself directly to going fast, then it isn't there. So, let's see. We can only convert the drivetrain or the aspiration. We cannot swap the engine, which I think is fine because we're dealing with a Ferrari V12 that already makes 750 horsepower, naturally aspirated. Thing only weighs 2,000 pounds from factory. So by adding twin turbos, we bring it up to X class, obviously. Um, 891 horsepower without upgrading anything. We're not going to make it all wheel drive. Making it all wheel drive would just actually, I mean, you could, you could uh, to drop it back down to S2 and that would kind of just make it so OP. It's not even funny. Um, we've got 325s up front, 365s in the rear. Let's see if we can put on any wheels that are lighter than the factory ones. Nope. The factory ones are as light as you go. So that means we're sticking with factory. That means we are sticking with, can we modify the size? Yeah, we can, but I don't want to because that'll increase our rotating mass. Um, let's see, platform and handling. We could go rally, we're not going to. Kind of one of those things that I'm like, you don't need to. Can we get Horizon? Oh, uh, no, we can't. Damn, bro. Okay, that's fine with me. I was just curious. All right, race turbos, 1,045 horsepower. Racer, 1,108 horsepower, 581 foot-pounds of torque at 2,128 pounds. So that's what it ended up coming out to. There's not much you can do to this car. Not much at all. However, <laughs> it has the potential to absolutely be a, a lunatic, a screamer. Like, this thing is going to just be, I, I think, personally, my opinion I think this car is going to be up there with some of the fastest in the game, especially here at uh, here at Hot Wheels. It also revs to over 11,000 RPM from factory. That's without doing any like kind of cams or anything like that. That's factory. Jeez, it sounds like, dude, it sounds like an animal. Keep in mind, it's raining, and it still feels pretty controlled. I mean, like, third gear, I can boot it around a corner, and it's solid. Oh, my God. Go. Jeez, it is stuck to the track. It is absolutely stuck to the track. Like, beyond anything that I could, uh, like, anything I've ever driven before, it is stuck to the ground. Now, of course, with the wing, it may not be the fastest thing in a straight line. Also, with the gearing, the gearing would have to be changed a bit, but I don't find myself caring about that as much as I thought I would. This car is the most planted thing I think I've ever driven in Horizon 3. Like, no matter whether it's on Hot Wheels or, or, or the, the mainland, it's still, it's just, it's just stupid fast. 
Like, oh my god! Jeez! I oh dear. And it's just got so many, like, usable RPMs. It's just like, holy crap. I think it would be a... It, you know what? This would be a crazy car for, um, for Goliath. But I feel like it'd have trouble with that one jump. I didn't care that I was hitting the wall. It's like 225. It, 225, it stops pulling. Although... It's time to change up the gearing a little. Because I think that if I change up the gearing, I should get... Mm, oh, it's already at negative three. I was like, don't even mess with the camber. All right. Let's see. 225.5. So 326 changes it to a... Oh, 260.5. Okay. Try 315. 261.9 it's getting it's it's getting higher it's getting higher i wonder if we can si get the simulator to go any higher uh 262.6 it's still going higher it is still going higher 261.4 okay so what was it like 3.07 262.4 6 is what it claims now i don't know I don't know if we can get it past that or even up to that, but we're about to find out. First gear now goes to 110 miles an hour. It also hooks up in second, which is ridiculous for a car making 1,100 horsepower and weighing only 2,100 pounds. Now with the longer gearing, you have even more room to play with the RPMs. 200 happens in, in fifth. That's 230. Oh, God. We're going to need more. Oh, really? This car's not made for this. Yeah, see, look. This car's not made for this in the slightest. It, it either doesn't want to slide at all, or the second it starts sliding, it wants to spin. Like, not the second, but, like, anything past the smallest degree of angle, it wants to spin. Hey, it makes it. Okay, it makes it. Oh, jeez, guys. Don't swerve out in front of me like that. That's not where I want to see you. Any of you. 240. Ah, 247. Again, I didn't really care about where I was stopping. Okay. So, there's a hell of a straightaway right here. <laughs> I don't know why I said right here. Right? It just kind of came out, you know. This is where, at least when you're on the Hot Wheels pack, this is where you get some, that's where you start to rack up some massive, massive speeds. Of course, you mainly you want to come from the other way when you're doing that, but this will give us a run out in this direction. Oh, car got really light. Like, I'm talking stupid light. All right, I'm going to go into this turnaround. At, well, not really turnaround, but like this little split and try to roll into that corner with as much speed as I can carry. I'm floored in third. Oh, it, it's fine with it. It could actually carry more speed through there. I'm honestly surprised it can hit the speeds it hits with that wing on the back. All right, loop time. We're entering the loop at just under 240 miles an hour. 256. Go. Oh, wow. It It didn't even, like, the, 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 the booster didn't even affect it. The booster didn't even affect it in the slightest. It's, it's just that fast. It is just that fast. Only thing is, I know that it could go a lot faster if, you know what? Actually, this might help. Arrow. Speed. Speed all the things. Speed all the things. 
Now, does that change anything? Oh, okay. 268.4. Okay. Give it another run from this side. Hit the loop and come back down the other side. Oh, geez, guys. Oh, it's lifting, it's lifting, it's lifting a lot. It's lifting a lot, like, in comparison to when we changed the arrow. Good grief. But the thing is, it's funny. It can make that turn at over 200 miles an hour because it's got so much mechanical grip anyway that even with, when we basically, f like, flatten out all of the arrow and adjust it all for speed, it still has enough mechanical grip to make this corner at over 200 miles an hour. That is just ridiculous. Again, I'm floored on the throttle, just sailing out of the corner. No problem at all. Almost there, almost there, almost there. A little bit of lift. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Getting it. Oh, 265. 266. Wow. Okay, I saw 266, which is two miles an hour off from where it said we would be. But to be honest, if we had enough, like, of a... Like, we, if we took it to the highway... Guarantee you it could hit 268. It's just like, man, it's it's definitely up there as one of the fastest. Um, it's 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 so fast. I think the the crazy thing is I think it's got more mechanical grip than like any other car that I've driven in Horizon 3 so far. Like it's just the mechanical grip is on a scale that I can't even describe. Like, it's crazy. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you in the next one.